Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl funny long back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. If there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting and just thank you for watching. You guys are the absolute best and we're very, very grateful. And a big shout out to the person that actually suggested this. Today I'm going to be reacting to Amididat versus Jimmy Swaggart on Trinity Cleared Audio Classics debate. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. We believe the Word of God teaches that there is one God, not 2, 5, 10, 12, 15, one God, manifest in three persons, three different personalities. We believe there is a Heavenly Father, we believe there is God the Son, and we believe the Holy Ghost, as Mr. D-Dot mentioned, that came upon Mary, is also God. They are indivisible, meaning they agree perfectly. They are one in unity. They never disagree, they never have disagreed. We believe that when you get to heaven, if you get there, Jesus Christ, the Son of God will be seated according to the Word of God by the right hand of the Father and will actually maintain that throne forever, basically. That's what we mean by the Trinity in a short nutshell. You see, the idea of the Holy Ghost in Christendom is that He's one in a Trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking, what language are you speaking? I am asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. You see, you said person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets. And we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of that old Father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving Father in heaven. When you say God the Son, I'm asking, are you thinking of a prize bull or a false one? No. You're thinking of a handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features. Something like what you saw in the King of Kings, Jesus of Nazareth, you know, uh, or the Day of Triumph, where Jeffrey Hunter was acting. You know, handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features, nice beard, not with a poly nose, with a crooked nose. That might make other pictures come into your mind. You know, Shakespeare made Shylock famous. Is a Shylock, Shylock, no. You see, so you're thinking of somebody like an Englishman or a Nordic or a German type with a straight nose, the sun. And the Holy Ghost, something that came like a dove when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist or something that came in flames of fire at Pentecost. I said, the picture is not very vivid, but the picture is there. You have three distinct mental pictures. And however hard you try, you can never superimpose those three pictures and create one. There'll ever be three in your mind. 
But when I ask you how many pictures you see, you say one, you are lying to me. Brothers and sisters, you are lying to me. Interesting. Um, the other day I was actually uh, having a conversation with my boyfriend. For those of you that are always asking where Jesse is, he's around just busy with work. Uh, so having a conversation about the existence of God and how God can be a person. How does, and I've asked this in my videos before, how can God be a person? Are you telling me if we all believe that God was a person and he died on the cross, are you telling me we're living with no God in this world? So we can do anything in this world because God no longer exists. It's just, it's insane to classify God as a human being. God can't be like us. Why would we want to praise someone that's like us? It's as good as me praising my neighbor or worshiping my neighbor because they're as human as I. We eat the same drink the same, do everything the same, walk on two feet, and everything else just doesn't make sense. I mean, I did that um, the views were actually good. I like how, uh, what's his name, Jimmy Swaggart started out, there's only one God, why are you splitting God into three, for what? What? just the crazy world it's a very very crazy world let's learn to separate god from this um absurd uh theory of god being man i don't think it will ever be like that and i don't think it was ever like that otherwise let me know what you guys actually think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video